So I'm David Haradine. I'm one of the artistic directors of a company called Fevered Sleep. And we're at Quarter House in Folkestone, where we've been this week doing some research and development for a new project which the company is making, which is called Men and Girls Dance. So Men and Girls Dance is pretty self-explanatory. It's a dance piece which is performed by a group of adult male professional contemporary dancers and a group of girls who dance as a hobby. Eight to eleven year old girls who dance for fun. Um, And the premise of the project uh, is this idea of bringing together two very different groups of people, adults and children, um, male people and female people, so specifically men and girls, to bring those two very different groups together uh, in a piece which allows them to move together and to be together and to be physical together because it's a dance piece. And the context for the whole project and the reason that we're making the project is because, broadly speaking, at the moment in public spaces, it's not really possible for men and girls to be together because of the whole media and social discourse about that relationship, which is just incredibly negative at the moment. So we wanted to make something which celebrated all the positive aspects of that relationship, so which celebrated um, love and playfulness and empathy and care and protection uh, as, a, as a, a response to and a refusal of um, all that negative thinking and talking about, about men and girls being together. So we've been doing a lot of research for this project over the last two years. This time that we've had this week in Folkestone is the fourth block of research. And previously we worked in London, in Eastleigh in Hampshire, in Nottingham and now in Folkestone. I guess for two reasons we wanted to A, do a lot of research and B, do it in different places. One reason is that ultimately when we make the project, when it turns from research into public performances, we will tour a company of men to these different places but in each different place recreate the performance with girls who are local to that place so partly we've just wanted to find out what that feels like to to turn up in different towns or cities and and start from scratch with a different group of girls but working more or less with broadly with the same material or developing the same ideas and um, so this week in Folkestone has just given us a brilliant opportunity to to do that come to a you know a very different place with a very different sort of community and meet a different set of girls who bring all sorts of different stuff to the project for, for Sam and I to work with the other reason that we wanted to do a lot of research and therefore why it's brilliant to be to have been hosted this week um, here at Quarter House in Folkestone is that it's just quite a complicated project there's so much about it which is complex for us as directors and for Fever Sleep as a company working with non-trained performers but making a really high standard um, professional performance piece that's just kind of difficult <laughs> and needs a lot of investigations to how you do that the subject matter and the sensitivity and the potentially provocative nature of the subject matter we have spent a lot of time thinking about it so this week has really helped us move that thinking forward i think well, you know kind of fundamentally fevered sleep as a company is absolutely committed to making art and making performance which is a kind of I don't know, social research or something which helps people who are not connected to the arts think about real things which affect them in in real ways. And so working with this group of girls and every day receiving them off their parents and giving them back to their parents, you know, it's an incredible gesture of trust to give them to us to work with on the project. And I, I just feel like what we're trying to do with this piece of work is to it's to say that it's okay. It's okay for people from outside a community to come into a community. It's okay for adults and children to interact. It's okay. You can trust people. You can trust people with your children. It is possible. So to have a venue like Quarter House, which understands how that might be valuable or maybe even important, and to want to support Fevered Sleep in doing a project like this, we couldn't do a project this difficult without the support of venues like Quarter House. It's just, it's just vital. My name's Sam Butler and I am the Artistic Director of Fevered Sleep and I'm directing Men and Girls Dance with David. So the men that we're working with are professional contemporary dancers and all, and all performers. The most interesting thing is that we've got three brilliant males in there and I mean one in particular is, is quite an astounding looking man and you, some people may consider that, I don't know, they may fear him in some way, he's got this big remarkable beard, he's covered in tattoos um, 
and and yet it very quickly obviously because he is um, enigmatic and and brilliant and great with children they they love him they love to work with him and um, you could see those relationships really building in front of your eyes very very quickly and it, it's quite beautiful today we'll be looking at some of the ideas that we developed earlier on in in some of the other R&Ds that we've done before. So we'll take some of those ideas. One of the things we want to work out is whether we can recreate something. So we found a brilliant thing that we did, say, when we were in Nottingham. Can we do that same thing again with a completely different group of children? We're also asking, as part of the research and development, and probably as part of the final piece, is that there will be a conversation about the subject matter about what they've seen about what the audience experienced so as well as a show a showing of some kind like there will be today a sharing we will then talk to the the parents and some other invited um, audience members about their responses to what they've seen and and what they maybe what they thought before they came and that's going to help in both in our research and in just in how we develop the piece and and what it becomes in its final its final thing that it is we're definitely working towards a performance which will be, but partly will be improvised, mm. partly will be very carefully choreographed and, and directed. We're very, really clear that we don't want this performance to happen in performance spaces like theatres, um, although we might work in partnership with the theatre to present it. We're very clear that we want it to happen in the sorts of community spaces where girls go and do their dance class on a Saturday morning so in a village hall or a, or a leisure centre or you know an empty school gym or wherever people go for, um, for taking part in activities like that. Because we have this opportunity to work with people who live in the communities where we're presenting the performance because we're working with girls who are from that actual place we don't want to take them out of their everyday settings and put them into the you know slightly formalized setting of the theater but we want to put our work into their community by going and working in a space like like a community space but definitely in that space we are going to be making a fully rehearsed fully resourced fully directed a carefully crafted performance piece which people will come you know book a ticket and come along to and watch and then somehow Sam said this, a conversation will grow out of that so the, the performance will be a starting point for a conversation about what it means for girls and men to come together and celebrate being together in public. So my name's Allegra Galvin and I'm the director of Quarterhouse in Folkestone. We've just had the sharing of Fevered Sleep's Men and Girls Dance in the auditorium Um, with about uh, nine local girls taking part over four days and uh, about 30-odd parents coming and friends and family coming to see the sharing. They're upstairs in the bar doing the Q&A right now and the girls are still debriefing with the company. It was just really exciting to see some local young girls, disparate group of girls, they don't do dance together or they haven't come from a dance school or anything like that, so quickly create something really special. I'm not sure, but it felt like they took some real risks in there. I'll be interested to hear from the company how that compares to other places they've been and also why maybe they felt they could take risks here. Also just to see parents, some of the people I recognise when coming to our kids' shows, but there are a lot of people I've never seen before whose kids are obviously interested in dance. Just watching their children do something really contemporary, raising some really big questions and uh, in a place where we don't get a lot of contemporary performance. So that felt very exciting to have those people and not just come and see a piece of contemporary performance, but come and see their children in a piece of contemporary performance. Given the topic that it's covering about men and girls and why, why we can't have a safe space where they can both be together other than the family unit, that what's happened with that relationship over the last few years in the public domain, it's really risky territory. I think it's really amazing that as a venue we can work with a company to bring up or raise a subject like that and have a debate about it yeah that feels like an amazing thing that art can do (laughs) 